Vosh released a video about three hours ago. I'm going to say without having seen a bit of it that the video is bad. It's bad for a very simple reason. The, uh, the context of this video being released was uh, Vosh, um, I, I think in the same stream, I could be mistaken, in the same stream as he was calling uh, conservatives, you know, uh, pedophiles and, and, and so on and, and lolly consumers and whatnot. Accidentally uh, opened up a folder on stream in which we saw a to be sorted uh, uh, a, a to be sorted folder in which we saw a bunch of images involving uh, primarily very underage looking girls, like very underage looking girls. And uh, and the a bunch of really grotesque um, horse bestiality porn, and that that part doesn't interest me. the The underage part is what interests me. And by interests me, I mean the <laughs> underage part is the part that concerns me. <laughs> this is sa this is saved to his device. His immediate reaction, which I can't blame him for, which is the only reaction, was to end stream and to pretend like nothing happened. Obviously, at, at his scale, that's impossible. Um, like, if someone's going to catch that. You have multiple thousands of people watching you. There's always going to be someone who's recording for whatever reason. Like, it was done at that point. H3 picked it up. They they went over it. They said, yikes, that looks pretty, that looks pretty fucked up, Vosh. What's wrong with you? And uh, while this is going on, he, he tweeted out, hey guys, I'm on a... I'm I'm in a haircut. I'm I'm getting a haircut right now, but I'd love to come on and explain my side of things. And then in DMs, uh, he declined, and uh, he was he was offered by uh, Ethan Klein from H3 to come on. Vosh declined, saying that they were necessarily bad faith or something. And then Vosh said afterwards, "Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'll let, I'll let you come on to my show, okay? And uh, and we I'll be willing to talk to you there." And Ethan Ethan said, "Yeah, sure." And then Vosh declined again. So, right off the bat, he's handled this as, as poorly as you possibly can. He then made a video immediately after H3's, uh, H, H3's stream on him. I guess he didn't then make a video. Immediately after H3's first stream on him, he, uh, he went live himself and, and tried to explain... He did a couple of things. The first thing he did was he couched everything he was saying in... This is just part of a, a long... A long trend of, of people who just hate me for no reason. People just hate me. People just hate Vosh. Uh, they're just trying to get at me, and and so all the stuff, all the stuff you see people saying about, like my my the the lolly porn on my computer. Da -da -da -da, yeah, that's just that's just the typical. It's the typical smear campaign. You've all we've all seen this before. This is old. We've debunked this. This has been thoroughly debunked. It's over. So we all know he famously. <laughs> Tried to argue that, uh, hey, look! In his defense, he didn't he didn't realize that this this stuff was uh, this stuff was lollipop. He didn't realize his characters were intended to be underage or looked underage. He thought they were short stacks, you know, like the way goblins are depicted in anime. You know, they're kind of squat, they're short. Maybe they even have sort of like babyish faces because of the chibi style. Uh, the thing about short stack, I don't know if you figured this out from the name, is that they're short. And they're stacked, i.e., these are these are women with adult features who are short. They are not children with baby fat and underdeveloped breasts, right? They they are not half the size of an adult man. And the problem with him saying that he wants to be the horse that he fantasizes about being the horse in these depictions is that the horses in these depictions are molesting underage girls. I don't know what this says about Vosh's psychology. The nature of, of the medium is that there, I mean, there, there are ways in which these do not depict actual human bodies and actual humans and actual human contexts. And so it's conceivable that it is a different impulse which drives him to consume this content versus, you know, actual CP. But nonetheless, um, it, it's bad. It's really bad, partially because his previous condemnations of people on the right and people who consume 
uh, a frankly like much much less suspect content demonstrates that he knows exactly how bad these look and it's inconceivable that he he had this material by accident it's inconceivable he mistook them for 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 adults like which is what he needs to conceive them as he needs to look at these images and think those are grown-ups for this to be okay i don't make i don't know maybe maybe those new glasses of his are just really really bad but i don't i don't buy it i don't think that's plausible um his his response has been to uh to try and cast aspersions on the people who are pointing at this and saying hey this looks this looks really bad dude what's going on here you you've uh, you've attacked people for much less in the past by which you know whether or not that was was correct to do we know that you know that this isn't okay we also know that uh if if you hadn't been caught you would you would be saying the exact same thing so this looks like you're very disingenuous and and furthermore this was a to be sorted folder which tells us a couple of things it tells us potentially that these are all very recently added so they're fresh in your memory but secondly this is not this is not where all of your stuff ends up like sorry this is where all of your stuff ends up at some point um this looks like a cross section of the rest of your rest of your material i think i think we're licensed to sort of infer that um, what else have you got on there? You know? Long story short, Vosh is, uh, optically toxic <laughs> to progressive politics right now. Um, even leaving aside the morality of all of this, even leaving aside the fact that he's allowed multiple people in his orbit to just destroy their reputations over the last couple of days. Um, by, by not manning up and just going on H3 and standing up for himself. Uh... Like even 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 leaving all of that aside, you don't want this associated with progressive politics. You don't want this stuff to be a thing that people can just draw on and say, "Yeah, look, this is what these guys are like. This is what these guys are all about." Yeah, they talk a big game about like you know they care about they care about children. They care about da da da. They're they're horrified at at, at all of these these uh, you know, but they fantasize. Uh, about molesting children in the background. That's how. That's the read. That's what it's going to be. And what Vosh also did was he he claimed that. Well, he claimed he argued that uh, you know it's an election year, Biden needs to get in, so uh, we need to not we need to not be infighting right now. We need to support each other. All hands on deck. I believe was the quote. Yeah. No. Um, the Democrats do not need Vosh. But Vosh can absolutely be used against the Democrats now. All all hands on deck, uh, uh, like like putting our best for, foot forward uh, to get you know uh, progressive policies in means Vosh stepping back. It means Vosh being swiftly and roundly condemned by as many people as possible. A because he wouldn't just remove himself by himself. That would be the respectable thing. But B, because that band-aid is coming off. It's coming off quickly or slowly, and those are the choices. And so, like a week later, how many days has it been? Three giant streams later. You've got uh, you've got Keffels and Tipster being dragged through the dirt. It's their own damn fault. I don't feel sorry for them. You've got how many people in his audience uh, just, just getting into these... These... The, uh, <laughs> There, there was a, I don't know if it was serious, but there was a fucking uh, Reddit post about um, somebody like having actual marital trouble because of because of uh, one partner's uh, attachment to to Vosh in the wake of all this. Like you know, this this isn't good. And so now we come to this this dreck and and like for the record, uh, I I talked to him uh, a few days ago, like about a week ago. Before my first coverage of all this, it might have been a bit more than a week ago, um, but I flat out said, "Like, look, you got exactly one play here, okay?" And this is all with the caveat that this is only if it's true that in any conceivable way you've been misrepresented. If any conceivable way there's a spin on this where you or there's a there's a, a read on this that's true that you know is true, in which this there's there's something less bad here. You need to beg to go back onto H three, and you need to make your case yourself. Um. That's the only way through here, because this, this is not it. 
a context video. A co There's no context that justifies this. He had that material on his computer. He requires us to believe that he is astonishingly stupid and blind in order to think that he, he, he both knew and didn't know what was specifically in those images that he saved on his work computer. Like, here's, here's, the, here's the tree of the depravity here, okay? So we start at the top. We have an inclination to uh, a combination bestiality and underage pornography. Okay, that should have been addressed psychologically early on. Second, we have him seeking out this material. Okay, that should have been addressed early on. We have him consuming and saving this material onto his work computer. That's an incredible danger, not just to him, but to everybody attached to him, as we've seen. And then afterwards, once he accidentally reveals this on stream, he doesn't immediately step back, immediately apologize, immediately uh, explain how, yeah, sorry, look, I know it was hypocritical. I knew this stuff was, uh, I knew this stuff was bad, and I kind of let myself slide into using it. Uh, I think, I think what I've said about it in the past uh, obtains, but obviously I've been, I've been careless or whatever. I'm going to take a step back from this because it's an election year all hands on deck, and I don't want to burden other progressives with this. Didn't do that. Instead, he tried to defend himself. He tried to call everybody who, uh, who was pointing this out dishonest, um, and, uh, and then he went silent for days while other people jumped in to defend him. And I'm going to show you something, okay? This, this, uh, this, this kind of sickened me a little bit. This is uh, Keffel's turning on Vosh, so I don't know who this person is, AF Streamwatch. But this was apparently from Keffel's Discord. I've changed my position on everything, honestly. Uh, fuck Vosh, he deserves far more criticism for all of this. I don't think he's a pedophile, but he is so goddamn reckless. I am not sleeping, I have had panic attacks over this. Defending him has resulted in all the 2022 Kiwi Farms misinfo resurfacing. That's true. Um... And then this person, Dick Thulu, says, this is the correct take. I'm very sorry you're going through this bullshit again. And Keffels replies, it's his fault. He's so fucking careless because he didn't consider how many communities are close to his. He hurt me and a lot of people by literally being a fucking weirdo. Go watch porn, OJ, oh, I guess on your phone, Arsler, jerking off at your work computer. Like, yeah. And because of Vosh, I just burned the last bridge I had to a mainstream creator. I think that's referring to Tipster. Apparently they're not following each other anymore. So it's bad. It's it's looking really bad right now. Um, and, uh... <laughs> like... Keffel's demonstrated extremely poor judgment by jumping in to defend Vosh for this. Um, there were other ones that were actually actually pretty bad as well. Let me see if I can't find them. I don't really want to go after uh, Keffel's here, though. I don't, I don't want to because my general impression of Keffels here is that this was one case. This was, this is weirdly, I think this was the only case I can think of where she wasn't doing this for as long as she did out of self-interest. I think she did want to defend a friend here. I think, I think she probably had mixed motives. I think she absolutely wanted to be on H3. She requested that, um, appearance earlier. She deleted her earlier tweets defending Vosh as well, so she was definitely uneasy about it. But I think there was definitely... An element there where it's like, you know, this is a person who's supported me a lot in the past. Da, 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 da. I want to, I you know, I'm going to, I, I want to make sure he's treated fairly. I don't want to be, but, you know, she knew better. And, uh, and Keffel's being Keffel, she'll never say this publicly. But she effectively did because Keffel's being Keffel, she doesn't know how to lock anything down. So yeah, days later, this is the same day, by the way. So she said this the day this came out. So w good timing, Ian. Uh, so days later, we have this. As of three hours ago, we have the context video. Let's talk a little bit about context here, okay? Remember, the instigating factor for this video is that Vosh uh, exposed his folder on his computer in which he had unsorted, so probably a lot more, in which he had unsorted underage drawn CP, essentially. Right, let's call it what it is. What is, how is that contextualized in this video? Well, let's see. First we have the introduction. Why make this video? Good. The bad child labor argument. Explaining the child labor argument. The vegan gains debate. The Mr. Girl context. 
Cuties is really bad. My painfully cringy joke. Stopping child abuse argument. The utilitarianism argument. The Discord screenshots. And only then do we get to the taxes folder an hour in. So here's, here's what this video actually is. And I've seen a couple of people message me saying, look, he comes off really humble here. Okay. Vosh is being really sincere and open finally. He's, 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 he's dropped the ego and he's really taking things seriously and addressing it. No, he's not. No, he's not. What he's doing is he's putting on an act. He's putting on an act so he can undercut the legitimacy of Ethan Klein's attacks on Vosh, his, his valid attacks on Vosh, because he did misunderstand Vosh's arguments in some cases, but that doesn't matter. The the, the general thrust of his arguments were valid. Um, so we can undercut those to his audience, give the impression that he is taking things seriously and addressing things, so he can do damage control, so he can maintain his revenue streams. That's what this is about. Okay, don't don't confuse the appearance of humility with humility. If he had humility, he would have stepped back. He would not have burdened the people around him with his defense. Even if he says in this video, don't defend me, it doesn't matter. He knows people are going to, and he knows people already have, and it's too late for a lot of them. The fact that he is attaching himself to progressive politics at all, the fact that he would dare at any point to say, like, look, attacking me is in some sense uh, uh, disadvantaging the progressive cause in this space... He, this isn't humility. This is pure, naked self-interest. And it's embarrassing, frankly. He had one play that was responsible here, and that was to go into H3 himself and explain himself if he could, or to apologize and take a step back. That's all he had. I guess those are two plays, but he had, he had those two. Those were the things he had to do. Instead, uh, he's, he's trying to maintain the status quo. The status quo is gone. It's it's over. Um, and and people who are watching this and are thinking, oh, Vosh is better now. Vosh is okay. He's addressing this. They're they've been duped. See, look at the end. The end is for my audience, right? No. If this was for his audience, he would address the relevant thing first. The taxes folder would come up first, and it would involve an apology and nothing else. Even if this does involve an apology here, this has been couched in an hour. In an hour of justifying his previous takes that involve references to child exploitation and child pornography. But they don't address the underlying fact of his being a consumer of it. And the problem here is that these arguments weren't being brought up in a vacuum. These arguments were being brought up because in the wake, in the wake of this taxes folder um, being exposed, all of his previous very, let's shall we say, unwisely framed arguments involving child exploitation, they now become suspect. They now look worse. Because now they stop being edgy decisions, now they start being, why is this foremost on your mind in every single one of these cases? Why are you framing it in such a way that it is so easy to take out of context? You're the rhetorical, like, debate guy. You should know how to frame things. But you did it badly. You did it really badly. And and we have additional things. Like, I, I notice, I'm not seeing any reference to the Poppy situation here. And for the record, like, I was, I was more ignorant about the Poppy situation than I thought I was. See, I saw the Discord conversations, and they were gross. And I saw his acknowledgement later on that he sexually harassed somebody on, on Discord. And my understanding was that he had apologized for this and had moved on. I didn't see the stream. I'd never, I'd actually never seen the clip. Um, I, I, at least I have no memory of ever seeing the clip of him going on about how, yeah, this, this person, yeah, I sexually harassed them, but, uh, but this person doesn't deserve basic human rights. They are, they are whatever subhuman or whatever. And I, I, that is why I will, that is why I will never apologize to them. Like in that weird anime villain tone, that was weird. Like that, that it, it's actually kind of astonishing to me that he, he was able to walk to move past that one. That that's one of the weirdest things I've seen. No no reference to that in here because there's no defense for it. Like there's no way there's there's no way past it except to say it's old. Like look at this, Cuties is really bad. The Mr. Girl context. Why is he putting this here? Well, he's putting this here to frame himself as someone who would absolutely never consume this material. He's not as bad as Mr. Girl clearly, but he he is a consumer of that material. 
it's it's what does Poppy have to do with this? Absolutely nothing. I'm just saying as an aside, like I didn't realize how bad some of these were. Because he'd cleaned up his act recently, right? Except not really, apparently. Apparently, uh, he didn't clean up his act. He just got comfortable flaunting his wealth, and that's that's ultimately what his stream became about. This is really disappointing. Like it, it's it's extremely disappointing. Um, we're not going to go through all of this. We're going to go through the intro up to why I make this video and who is it for. And then we're going to go to the taxes folder and his final thoughts, because this is an insult. This whole, this whole hour here, this is an insult to your intelligence. Genuinely. Like he thinks you're stupid. This is him telling you, you are a chump. He can just load stuff however he wants, put on a serious, grim face, talk in a serious tone, and you'll just eat it up, because you're a simpleton. Sunday, this tea leaves reading is really weird. Are we really extrapolating so much from section headers? Yes, we are. Because this is a decision. Every single part of this is a decision. This is a composition. He took days making this. The order of things was chosen. The back ending of this folder section was chosen. Calling it the taxes folder was chosen. I'm, I'm absolutely going to read into the appearance of the video, the time it took to come out, the fact of its existence, the structure of it, and so on and so forth. Absolutely. I think it'd be a fool not to. All right, let's get into it. So this is a video I probably should have made a long time ago. There are two... Okay, so right off the bat, we have this initial framing. This is a video I probably should have made a long time ago. Here's the subtext. Uh, nothing about this is new. All of this is old. We've addressed all of this before. This is all old. Nothing new to see here, folks. It's just reassuring his audience. It's okay. You guys can still you can still watch me and be comfortable and keep giving me money and keep singing my praises online. It's all fine. Nothing's changed. Everything's the same. It's just the same old, same old conservative grift, the same old, the same old anti-Vosh derangement. That's all. That's all this is. There's nothing new. But you know, I've been lazy and I haven't addressed it all in one systematic expose. So here we go. Like th that's all this is. Main reasons why I haven't. For one, everything we're about to talk about has been discussed over and over and over again. Everything. Everything. I don't think the taxes folder is 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 old, Vosh. I think that's actually less than a month old. I think it's fairly new. I think it's kind of uh, it's kind of decisive here, actually. And it's called the context video, but there's no context that fixes the taxes folder, right? On this channel, uh, in in live streams and in videos, some of it has been discussed to death. Over engagement with the topic has caused it to have a disproportionate influence both on my community and on the way people outside of my community perceive me and my channel. The second main reason I've been hesitant to make this video is because experience has taught me that generally speaking, if folks want to hate you or distrust you or whatever else, it's pretty difficult to convince them otherwise. If you've exposed a folder in which you have uh, accumulated a, a large collection I think we're safe to infer it's a large collection, given that we have a cross-section of what his other folders have with this. Let's say, let's say at the very least, a small collection of images involving bestiality and underage child exploitation drawn, to be fair, what we've seen, underage child exploitation combined, both together. Like, this is not... Yeah, so we're, we're being disingenuous right out the gate. This is gross. This is so fucking disappointing. Honestly, this is just the only conceivable defense he had, which he belied by by saying that he uh, he mistook the children in the images for short stacks. Um, is that he didn't know they were there? He right clicked on some some uh, link or whatever, 
he right clicked on some tiny tiny little blurry thumbnails he didn't see and he just saved them to look over later he just would and then you know but he didn't do that he said no 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 i looked at them i looked at them and i enjoyed them but i i was confused i was confused i was in a i was in a horny fugue and i I, I didn't I didn't realize I didn't realize they were underage at the time I thought they were just I thought they were just short you know they were just short because you know you can't tell the difference between a short adult and uh, and a, a, a sub 13 year old kid right it's there's no there's no walking uh, there's, no, there's th th this is this whole thing is moot uh, nags games for the five dollars. To be honest, I feel like it'd be a fine video for him to make if, like, H3 covered his old clips randomly, but the taxes folder is more context than this vid. Well, exactly. The taxes folder... The taxes folder is the context. That is... That is the, the novel aspect to all of this. It recontextualizes things. Or, more accurately, it licenses people to recontextualize things. Um, because until this point, these, uh, these, these optical decisions that Vosh has made by bringing in these issues into uh into his into his arguments in the way that he did you can put those down to being edgy you can put those down to you know being being gross on purpose you can put this down to him having like sort of a reddit brain they don't make him a consumer of the material they don't make him have an any sort of uh proclivity towards it it's just you know poor decisions Now that we have confirmation that he does consume this material, you can go back and say, hey, are these more than poor decisions? So, President Sunday, to be fair, you've muddled your understanding. Oh, did, did you, why'd you retract it? Okay, well, Birdbrain said that you've muddled your understanding of anime body types um, in the past yourself. Here's the distinction. When I've muddled them, it's because a uniform body type has been used across age groups, which makes it difficult to tell the difference between an adult and, and someone who's younger because they're all coded the same. And it's only the trivial details of their background that tells you like what age they are. So for example, a chibi representation, for those who aren't familiar, a chibi is like when it's sort of like uh, reduced in detail down to kind of like a cute, cute bubbly thing. A chibi representation of like a 30 or 40 year old character will look more or less identical to a chibi representation of a character in their teens or in their early 20s. And so at that point, it's like the, the, the social and narrative context of the character is primarily what determines their, their age and their maturity and so on and so forth. Um, and so under those conditions, it'd be like, okay, there's a level of abstraction here. These are borderline emojis, actually. That's how that's how abstract this has gotten. And so you can forgive somebody in the case of, like, for example, um, and here's here's one point that I, I will defend Vosh, and you can forgive someone for being confused in the event of a, uh, a, a uh, what are they called? A, um, a VTuber avatar uh, being technically a certain age on a Wikipedia page if he's unaware of the actual context of the character because all characters of all ages are drawn in an identical way. And so, therefore, it's the, the social and narrative context of the character that tells you the actual age of the person. The problem is the images that Vosh had had not a dearth of detail. They had too much detail. They were not coded as adults narratively or visually. In fact, they, had, they were very heavily coded as minors. Um, there, were, there were signals in those images that told you what they were. Because that was the kind of material that they were. That's who they that they were. They were meant for the consumption of people who want those things in them. So it doesn't work. That's the problem. Like you can you can make that argument if somebody, for example, um, accidentally say, I don't know. There's a there's a character in My Hero Academia who like has a has a boob window in her outfit. And like she's she she's drawn more or less identically to the adult women in the show, but I, I don't know her actual age. I think she's supposed to be like, I think she well they're in high school right, so she must be like seventeen, eighteen at the most. So like that, and it's Japan, so realistically probably not even. So like that character, if somebody lacked context of the character's age, you could understand someone having an image of that character on their computer. 
Okay, that would kind of make sense. It's a very different story when the character is drawn flat-chested, short like a child with a child's face, low detail, da 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 That's what we're dealing with here. It's not not good. And then, by the way, like additional detail on other, other parts. Like, it's not, it's not good. It is not good. And the issue here is that these were saved and that he acknowledged knowledge of their of their content uh present sunday here's a useful standard if you have to wonder if she's old enough she's not old enough well yeah exactly and so the argument that i'm making is that in certain cases if the style is abstract enough so it abstracts away from like 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 for example if you draw all the characters with the exact same kind of like uh like sort of triangular shape i'm trying i'm trying to think of a good example here but like if, if you draw characters in such a way as they're highly stylized, it's it's conceivable that someone would, you know, without knowing the, the, the context of the characters, not know which characters are which age, and then it's like, okay, whatever. When we're dealing with a high degree of detail, it's it's a different story. You, you don't get away with that. Even his defense was relying on something similar. Um, he, he thought there was ambiguity in terms of a stylistic representation. It's not really... Uh, that's not really conceivable. Um, like it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Uh, there are, uh, there, there, are, there are goblins in, uh, there are goblins in the new Baldur's Gate game. Okay, they can wear sexy outfits. You'll, you'll see the difference. Leaving that aside, let's let's get back into this. Sometimes, if you're unpopular enough, even if you've got a good point to make, just the attempt to change people's minds can come across as kind of self-incriminating. You actually ground them further in the positions they already have. You know, it's one of those deals where the people who need to hear it won't listen, and the people who will listen don't need to hear it again. Let's get right to it then. Let's not waste time. What am I actually talking about? Well, I hate to drop this on the people who just innocently watch me for my political content and don't engage in any broader community drama, some folks online have called me a pedophile. Now, this in and of itself isn't actually that noteworthy with the political climate being what it is. Folks are getting accused of being pedophiles on Twitter left and right. It's pretty common. But some people have called me this way more insistently and a lot louder. So why? Remember how I said self-defense can come across as kind of incriminating even if it's accurate or well-intentioned? Yeah. Even though I've gone over all this before uh, on stream or in videos, I wasn't exactly jumping at the bit to make a why I'm not a pedophile video. That's not, <laughs> that's, it's, it's a rough subject is what I'm saying. You know, that's one of the reasons why it's so effective as a smear. Of okay, take your bets. Is he going to mention the folder at all in this introduction? Like, is it going to come up once? Is he just going to talk about people smearing him, him being taken out of context and misrepresented? And he's just going to skirt over that entirely. I have a suspicion he's not going to say anything about it. Which, by the way, uh, if he if he wasn't completely outed at this point, would have been a smart move. But it's a little late for that. Of course. It's just an incredibly difficult subject to engage with. So let's not waste any more time. We've got a lot to go through. What, then, is this video about? What do I have to say, and why do I want to say it? What are my goals and making the video. Well, the gist of it is this. When people accuse me of being a pedophile, they usually do so while presenting pieces of evidence, often clips from my live streams, that make me look bad. While I do think that a lot of the claims and pieces of so-called evidence used against me range from being uncharitable to outright dishonest, the fact remains that I have said some incredibly stupid fucking shit on this channel especially really early on, like right when I started streaming. And I don't fault anyone for seeing clips from that and, and being suspect of me. You know, I wasn't doing myself any favor. No mention of a folder. We're just talking about clips. Bad clips. That's what this is all about, gang. Bad clips. God. Okay, I'm never saying gang again. I am not wick. Okay, I want you to lash me if I do that one more time. I'll, I'll say that much. For a lot of them, such as the ones where I'm making a point that is overall good and like uncontroversial but i do a bad job of making it there's nothing for me to really like debunk you know it's it's not a takedown it's more a matter of charity you know i have to go and and, and look at these clips and explain what do they mean you know 
what was I thinking? What was I saying? Are, is, is this clip like so dishonest? Okay, I'm going to show you something, all right? We're going to talk about charity for a sec. I'm going to talk about why... We're going to talk about why Vosh asking for charity right now is not the play. So this is... Uh, <laughs> This is this is apparently it looks like uh, apparently this is right before he uh, he exposed his folder. This is what Vosh was saying on stream. Okay, man, rubbing my hands. Thank you for the shekels. Puts on a child voice. Audience uh, spams away. Vet. Guys, every time this happens, the exact same way. Like it goes the exact same way every single time. Her community and her are full of Nazis. She doesn't care about the Nazi shit that much. Probably she just wants to make money off the fact that most Nazis are pedophiles. If you wanted to attract, like, think about it, guaranteed income source, put on the voice of a child, have, like, a childlike VTuber avatar, uh, appeal to Nazis. Perfect. Like, market, market 101 shit, you know? Right there. Perfect alignment. Okay, so this is a bit of... <laughs> not good. Not good. Um, not good primarily <laughs> for the reason that Oh, oh, it's already resized. Perfect. Not good. Primarily for the reason that uh, his his argument was that oh, it, it was, it was a it was a VTuber avatar. I didn't know. But you just labeled them that. So there's one of two possible reads on this. The first is that you did know and you're lying, or you didn't know and you were lying about other people. In which case, why would we believe the first thing you said? Like you see how this doesn't work. And you see how this like burdens everybody who now is is attached to his persona. It's just it's it's so bad. Let's pop that over there. Is that good? Okay, sweet. Honestly, cut that. You know, no reasonable person would interpret it as Sunday. What he's not calling all VTubers Nazis here? No, but he's associating VTuber avatars with Lolly. That's the problem. That's the problem. Now Sunday's folder has Duck Nana stuff. My folders have books in them. Do you know why? Because I stream from this computer. I have I have one main computer and I stream from it. So if I kept any any and I'm 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 not talking like like the kind of stuff Vosh has, because that's like a whole other level, but if I had any compromising material on here, then every single time I put on my desktop I risk, like for whatever reason, my hand falls on my keyboard, anything. I risk exposing compromising information or compromising material to a th thousands of people all at once, okay? Which is why I don't do that, because I'm not stupid. <laughs> um, like, it's, it's, it's baffling to me, like, the the level of the level of arrogance and stupidity it takes to to comport himself the way Vosh has throughout all of this, you've already demonstrated incontrovertible evidence that you have no judgment by having this material on your computer in the first place. Leaving aside the morality of it, just toss that away. As a purely cynical agent, you have no idea what you're doing. Now you're going to like what, mega brain your way through this because you're some kind of propaganda mastermind? It's like, I'm, no. No. He had one option here, and that was to be honest and vulnerable from go and to put progressives first, to put his community first, and step back. Step back and say, you know what, I've been a massive hypocrite, and I'm going to look into fixing this. I think I still, I think I still have a good rapport with my community. I think I still have a lot to offer them. But you know, this is this is really brought to light that there's something something's not right up here. Something's not right with all of this. And I'm gonna fix that. That would have been respectable. And even if I would have still had the exact same take, which is Vosh is poison to progressive politics and he needs to remove himself, at the very least I could respect that when push came to shove, he made the right decision then, at least. Like that would that would that would mean something. But we're we're still we're still just like we're still just just trying to trying to he's still just trying to save his own ass here. It's like your ass is cooked, my dude. This is gonna follow you till the end of time. You're not going anywhere. There's no there's no mainstream future for you. There's no there's no upward any upward mobility you have is going to be attended by people recapitulating this at every single level, and it's only going to get worse and worse. 
And that's assuming we don't have a repeat. And let me tell you, somebody losing it all, somebody losing like their uh, their chances for growth and their chances for you know a better position later on, that doesn't make them more careful. It tends to make them more reckless. They tend to go, you know, what the hell. So if he already has a proclivity for this, I don't think he's I don't think he's losing that as a consequence of this. Uh, apparently, like he, I mean, judging by his decisions in the past, it's, it's distinctly likely this isn't even the last leak he does. Um, it's just. I'm just I'm I'm just kind of astonished at all of this. Like like you're you're in a house of mirrors, man. You don't know what you're doing. It's looking bad of seeing the full context or uh was I saying really stupid shit and I'm going to have to like work to explain what my thought process was at the time. And past that point, it's up present Sunday's Ayn Rand folder exposed actually <laughs> funnily enough <laughs> to other people to either believe my charitable explanations or believe significantly less charitable ones. You know, that's up to them. In, in addition to some of the legitimately really stupid shit I've said, I'll also cover some of the more bullshit accusations because, I, 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 I don't know, they're transparently bullshit, a lot of them. I feel like you would have to already dislike me to, to read anything from them. But, it, you know, a lot of it is that, so I, I need to sort of point that out too so as far as i can see there are no you don't you don't need to dislike him to read into them at all that's that's why they're bad that's why people keep bringing them up precisely because you don't need to already dislike him to read into them that way they look bad all right so we're halfway through who is this video for i don't think we're going to see any reference to the folder if we don't see any reference to the folder i'm jumping ahead of all of this because we already know that there is that that the the arguments did not concern generally with one exception, generally um, defending the possession or consumption of uh, drawn or actual child CP material. And he doesn't make that distinction in, in one of the worst clips. Um, what I want to know is how he spins the taxes folder. That's the only part that matters to me. That's the only part that matters to anyone. All of the rest of this is just, wow. You know, in retrospect, knowing what we know now about what he keeps in his computer, this all looks a little different, doesn't it? It's a little bit, it's a little bit more difficult to overlook it. Four groups of people that I'm addressing here, more or less. The first group is my core audience, the people who have seen me address this and provide context for this and deal with this bullshit a million times. For a lot of them, all of this is a repeat. The second group of people is people who just fucking hate me. I, I really don't know if there's much I can do to get across to those guys. I would like to. I really do think a lot of the hate is misguided, but ultimately that's up to them, right? I, you Does know. Keffels hate you, Vosh? Do I hate you? Keffels just disavowed you. She just disavowed you today, like in public. Like, possibly mere hours before this video came out, maybe maybe less, I don't know the exact time. Like, is that is that is that what you want to run with? Because, like, the people, the people who are coming out against you right now, they were people who, by your own, by, by your, your own criteria, they, they were friendly to you. Like, you've, you've, you've said, I'm a genuine friend on stream before. Keffels certainly was a friend of yours. Um, Keffels took a serious hit for your sake, I think to the point of being unethical. Ethan Klein has no reason. Like, certainly no reason to, to hate you on the basis of, of anything. You, you've been on his side politically. Why why on earth would he have a special incentive to hurt you unless he genuinely thought you did something really bad and or you did something really bad that was also an optical disaster that he feels would be good to get ahead on, right? Because here's the, here's the part that Vosh isn't acknowledging. Um, he becomes a massive optical burden as a result of this leak. And it's not just a matter of, oh, well, you know, you can just condemn him or be quiet. And if we're friendly with Vosh and we care about his, his project, we'll be quiet. No, no. If you be quiet, now people are licensed to ask, why are you being quiet about this? Especially if you've attacked other people for similar in the past. Why are you being quiet? Why is this person getting a special pass? It's almost like you're fine with... Uh, you're, you're fine with people hoarding child exploitation material on their computer if they're your friends and if you see a business interest in associating with them in future. That looks really bad. So now you're asking people, 
implicitly uh, to endanger themselves by opening themselves up to to that attack down the line um, by staying silent about you. And and don't get me wrong, like. I understand the entanglements that make it really difficult for a lot of people in Vosh's orbit to criticize him openly about this, and I don't condemn them for that. Um, but he has made them vulnerable to that. Like, he really has. Uh, like, White Forest, the person who runs um, runs their, like, like, and people have mocked this, and I, I don't think, I don't think White Nervosa, not White Forest, but White Nervosa. I don't, I, don't, I don't have the dim view of White Nervosa that some people do. But it's legitimate concern. If, uh, if the person who manages and runs your, uh, you know, your, your, your streaming service, a, a thing that you sort of depend on for a major part of your income, if they are friendly and defensive of somebody who's, uh, under major attack, um, and, and like, you're, you're going to have a specific monetary incentive to not go on the attack as well. Pissing them off might, might cause problems for you. It's happened in the past. Like the 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 Rose Wrist thing is a case in point. Um, Rose helped edit, and it was it was a it was an awful article. But Rose helped edit the uh, not the article the uh, the manifesto against Keffels. And in reply, uh, they redirected his site to um, like uh, Keffels Anti Kiwi Farms website, which means it wasn't going to his his streaming service. Now they they also said. Um, I don't know if it was it was just white nervosa by herself, but she also said that this was uh, also because he was inactive. But but then why redirect it towards Keffels? That's kind of odd for a couple of reasons, right? Why not just take it down? Um, why not ask him like, hey, you haven't been active for a long while. Uh, are you still do you still want to use this kind of thing? I don't remember if they did or, or not. But like in in context, it's like the the impression it gives, the impression it gives to everybody, is that yeah, if you uh, if you attack people we like. We're going to use the the levers that are that we can reach to make sure that you can't do that as well, or to make sure that you can't do that anymore, or to punish you, or whatever. Um, all the people around Vosh use the same service, so it's like it's not good. Um, a lot of the people around Vosh now open themselves up, as Keffels has demonstrated to uh, accusations of a similar kind by defending him. And by the way, I'm going to I'm going to say this. Ethan was deeply unfair by calling people defending these takes that Vosh talks about here, like the child labor argument, the uh I can't, the Mr. Girl context is meaningless. Like stuff like that, calling them lollipops. That is pedo jacketing. That's absolutely pedo jacketing. I don't I don't I, I think Ethan's kind of I, I think Ethan knows that what he's doing is pedo jacketing them. You're not you're not saying like Oh, you're cynical. Oh, you're like a shill. You're just defending somebody because you have a, a financial incentive to, to you know, demonstrate that you're you're stand with them or whatever. No, he called them lollipops. He associated them with the lolly content, and um, like like that's that's not cool. But that's what Vosh opened them up to. Why not flat out saying very publicly, like, hey, uh, guys, I'm telling you right now, you streamers in my orbit, I'm messaging you directly. Do not go out to bat for me on this one. In fact, publicly say, yeah, I'm I'm keeping hands off here. Vosh is a friend, but I can't defend this. He has to provide the the the, the, the clarification himself for this. The fact that um the fact that oh that's not it. The fact that we had um uh, that we have this uh statement by Keffels here. The fact that we 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 can see this now. Right? I've changed my position on everything, honestly. Fuck Vosh, he deserves former criticism for all this. The fact that this is what Keffels is saying in her server, like, tells me that there is no communication going on. He's not telling her to defend him, but he's also not saying, like, hey, don't, don't wait into this. It's not good. He's letting it happen. He's fine to let it happen. I'm not magic. The third group is the mass of disaffected, disengaged, entertainment-hungry drama vultures who are just here because they think it's fun to watch people squirm. I, I see you. Well, skip to an uh, hour and eight minutes in. It'll save you a lot of time. I don't. I'm not trying to save time here. I want to know if before he goes into the bad arguments part, he uh, he mentions the folder at all. 
I want I want to establish that he's actually back ended this to obscure its centrality to this whole issue because it is the crux of the matter. Come, a lot of this really has been like thoroughly addressed before, though. So I don't plan on doing uh, much squirming, but there will be lots of self debasement. So. Uh, to, to you and to the people who just hate me, if you want to see self-debasement from me, there will be that. So you can look forward to that, I guess. Yeah, and, and I know that even making a video like this can come across as pretty damning, just innately. But I really do hope that you take it uh, seriously and try to be charitable. Okay. If this is one of those things, Vosh. Uh, it's sort of like a, when a Marvel movie makes a reference to itself being formulaic. It doesn't save it from being formulaic. You mentioning that, yeah, me publishing this video looks pretty damning in context, in the context of all this, given what I'm being accused of, and, and given, like, the the explicit overtures that I have offered to discuss this directly, which I then rescinded, and the offers I've received to discuss this directly that I've declined, it makes it look like, you know, you're, 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 you're extremely guilty and that you're afraid of, of, um, of, of having to defend yourself, um, like directly to another human being you have you can't overcome that like this throwaway line about like i realize this looks bad guys it's not going to save you there's only one thing that can save you and that is unfortunately uh to be baptized in the frigid cold waters of cancellation my dude you need to take a step back and get out of the spotlight for no reason other than because it is a pretty serious topic and last uh the fourth and maybe the smallest group of people watching this video are people who are genuinely neutral or or maybe coming in with that fair mind to see what all the drama is about or maybe they're from the normie side of my audience and uh, you know they don't engage with the drama and the community stuff that much i don't know this will probably be a weird one for them but nonetheless Welcome. It's a pretty wide range of people as audiences go, but I'll do my best to explain things and go through all the drama in a way that's clear and straightforward, but also doesn't drag on too long. Now, without further ado, let's get to the content. We'll start with the absolute worst of it. The, the folder. The folder in which you had really dis like not just lolly content, really disgusting lolly content. You had underage underage girls uh, being sexually involved with animals. Like that's that's gross. That's really gross. So that's that's the that's the worst of it, right? We're starting we're starting off with where it matters most. The monstrously stupid argument that I made way back when I first started streaming. That yeah, no, we're not even going to touch it. We're going to pretend it doesn't exist. Why? It's like a mega church pastor. It's like a megachurch pastor. Uh, these, it's the same defenses that you see from megachurch pastors. Ted Haggart was caught with a gay prostitute, but 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 what do you what do you mean? That's that's impossible. They're trying to take him down. They just hate they hate God's word. They just hate Ted Haggard. Um, and what about all of those times he talked about the evils of homosexuality on the pulpit? Like, no, this can't be true. And then later on, the cope continues. Look, look, he's 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 better. Okay, he's addressed it. Da, da, da. We we need to we need to stand together for the kingdom. We can't we can't let we can't let the the we can't let the enemies of the church prevail against it. We need to stand with Ted. Like that's that's the argument here. That's that's what this is. This is this is uh, what is it? What is it called? This is this is dirtbag left. Mega church pastor caught with a gay prostitute. That's what this is. This is gross. So we're not we're not going to waste our time with this. This this is a fucking insult, and he should be embarrassed. Absolutely fucking embarrassed. I want to look at the taxes folder. By that I mean I want to look at his coverage of the taxes folder. I don't want to look at the taxes folder. I I I, I resent being aware of the taxes folder. All right, let's go. So after all that, now we, we finally arrive. Finally. Uh, at th it's been an hour. An hour and eight minutes. We finally arrive. But our records don't show from where. This most recent drama, uh, the incident that lit a fire under drama YouTube and is, to my mind, the only thing I've done in the past four years that actually 
actually looks bad. It's pretty fucking embarrassing, to say the least. So, there I was. Uh, yeah, that's not true, Vosh. I'm sorry. Even before this, that's not true, Vosh. Streaming a few weeks ago, browsing a men's fashion site, I wanted to look at an image more closely, so I right-clicked to open the image in a new window, uh, but then accidentally, instead, clicked the Save As tab in the right-click drop-down menu. Uh, now, because I am, as has been extensively demonstrated in this video, a fucking idiot, my preferred strategy for keeping my desktop clean is, is to not keep your desktop clean <laughs> and to have folders full of, of underage drawn CP. I guess that's redundant. Of, of, of drawn underage pornography. Right? Is to keep a single big folder called To Be Sorted, where every image, document, music file, whatever... I happen to download, get sent. Sunday needs to be careful when making claims on the evidence if he hasn't in fact seen it. I've seen it. Okay. It was, it was, it's been covered on a few streams now. I've, I've, I've unfortunately seen it. It's bad. It's really bad. Like, it's really bad. Um, you won't, you won't, like, it was on Twitter briefly. Uh, somebody had actually, like, connected all the dots and shown where everything came from. And they were not blurred, and it was deeply unpleasant. It's bad. It's really bad. Like it's bad enough. I I don't I don't I I don't even want to describe it. Like it's really bad. It's really gross. Like deeply deeply. Off putting just doesn't quite describe it. It's uh. Let's just say I didn't eat that day. It's it's gross. Yeah, uh, th this is an insane thing to have as a live streamer. But you know, there you go. It, it's me. So I hit save as, and a half second later, uh, a preview window of the folder and its contents popped up on stream. And now, of course, that folder had porn in it. So I, I immediately ended the stream and deleted the VOD, even if it weren't just embarrassing to make a mistake like that as one of the largest political live streamers on the platform. It's TOS. Uh, you got to delete the VOD. So uh, I, I, I stream with no delay. And folks are always screen capturing the feed, so I, I knew the contents of my to be sorted folder uh, and the preview window were irrevocably public knowledge. No, you didn't, because you tried to you tried to pretend like that didn't happen, right? Like so. So no, you you realized it after the fact because you're not that stupid, but you that's no, not true. You didn't you didn't accept that it was irrevocably public knowledge. You just failed at covering it up, but. To be honest, that didn't really bother me too much. Uh, it was embarrassing, sure, but mostly because it made me look like a careless idiot, not because I was ashamed of the, like, furry, demon, monster, GF, big dick porn stuff. I what about the kids, Vosh? What about the children in it? Like, th those, those, were not, those were not adults by any, any metric. Like, here's, here's your one defense, okay? Here's your one defense here, given that you acknowledge the contents of those images. Maybe they're a canonical character who has those features who's an adult. They're one of the um, one of the uh, disturbing things about um, like like anti pedo anti lolly witch hunts is that people sometimes forget that human bodies come in a diverse array of shapes and sizes, and there are people in their thirties who who look like some people do in their teens. Um, like I, I, I've, I've, I worked, for example, with, uh, uh, in, at my old cleaning company, um, there were, uh, there were, uh, like there, there were Japanese women there. Um, one of which I thought was like 24 and we had a conversation like, what, you're 30, you're 32. It's like, oh my God. Like this, this was back when I was in my late twenties. Um, and it was like weird, weird. Okay. I was like kind of taken aback. Um. And like that, that's a possibility. And there's an element of misogyny in insisting that any woman, for example, who doesn't have like certain specific developments is therefore, uh, invalid as an object of desire by, by a guy, but that's going to be contextualized by what the guy knows about the person. Like they know they're an adult. They, they, uh, are mature. They demonstrate the capacity to you know, make informed decisions and so on and so forth. All the things we associate with adulthood. 
the issue with the images in Vosh's folder is not that they had flat chests. It's not that they were short. It's that absent any ameliorating, there's that word again, ameliorating context that would tell him that these are adults, these are characters who were coded as minors by artists who deliberately code their characters as minors because they are making content that appeals to people who prefer that. And in addition to this, he had previously gone after much less suspect images and said these are clearly representations of Lolly. These are clearly in a Lolly style. All these together give us license to infer that when he saw these images, he had no special reason to think that they were above age, when by his own lights they clearly appeared underage. So there's no, there, there's no defense here. And trying to claim that the issue is that, oh, it's bestiality. Ooh, there, were, there was furry and demon porn in there. Ooh, that's how embarrassing. That's a lie. That's a lie. There are some people who I think have unwisely fixated on the horse thing. That part's, that part's weird, but that part's just embarrassing. The part that has an actual, like, serious ethical dimension to my lights is the, the presence of children there. Especially since that has been something that he has used to attack other people. And especially since that association, the association of that material with his platform, and the association of his platform with the platforms of a whole bunch of other people, and a whole bunch of communities, makes them vulnerable to the same attacks that he has opened himself up to. Which means that he has made himself a massive burden Contrary to what he's saying, where it's, it needs to look, it needs to be all hands on deck, right? We we all need to come together for Biden. We all need to come together to make sure that the the conservatives don't win and take away our freedoms. Him being on deck, it's like it's like you're on a raft in the ocean, and one guy has a giant bleeding leg, and you can see shark fins in the distance, and he's clinging on. And there's barely any room already, and he's clinging on. And there's just blood flowing everywhere. And he's telling you guys, wait, no guys, keep me on the keep me on the raft. We need to save ourselves from the sharks. All hands on deck. It's like, no, no dude. You, if you want to save the raft from the sharks, you gotta swim that way. Zoophilia is also illegal though in most US states. I don't fucking care. I just I just don't care. It's just not a priority to me, okay? It's not a priority. It's it's weird and embarrassing. I'm that's not that's not my concern, okay? Like look. Exploiting, ex use, using animals sexually is immoral for additional reasons. Okay, it's that's disturbing. Not my, not my uh, primary focus here. Not what I'm particularly interested in. Not to be a pedant, but being a furry isn't the same as bestiality. Uh, well, that's the thing, though. It's see, Vosh, Vosh himself isn't into bestiality. Vosh himself is into seemingly underage looking girls being in a bestiality engagement with him. See, that's the that's the additional problem with the horse thing. Like, I thought this was a joke, by the way, when I saw those memes pop up. No, no, a common misconception. I want to be the horse. It's like, okay, that's, 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 that's funny. That's funny. As a joke, if it's not real. As real, it's like, huh. What's not, huh, is, is when all of a sudden he reveals that he has a folder full of images of a horse, which he claims he identifies with in sexual engagements with very young-looking people, right? And that's, yeah, and it's not, that's not furry stuff either. That's a little bit distinct. Furry stuff is, is different. Furry stuff is, um, I'm not getting into it. Why am I talking about this? Fuck, just, just, let's finish this. Let's finish this and be done with it. I knew I had him there, you know. I had rambled about liking all that stuff on stream before, not a secret. And I thought, you know, maybe, uh, in a way, this fuck up would come across kind of charming. You know, like, uh, uh, that's my streamer, that fucking idiot right there. My community was already making a big joke of it by the time I went live again. Of course, I knew as soon as the folder opened on stream that it would be pretty easy for people to lie about what it contained, to stir up drama or cause me trouble or for any other reason. So when later on in that stream, one or two people came into chat and they said, uh, hey, there was Lolly in there, and, you know, I figured they were just causing trouble and I banned them. Of course, we know where this is going, uh, by the next day, I had learned from what felt like the entire goddamn internet that two of the images in my folder preview window 
uh, were actually from a well-known Lalacan artist, and therefore... Okay, but... But more than two of those images contain people that anybody would have identified as being underage. And those images weren't by that weren't by that artist either. You had a widespread, you had a cross section of, of different types across the board. And you acknowledge that you saw their contents. So uh, what are you doing? Like, what, what, did you, what part of this song and dance do you think is working for you? Like, everybody already knows about this. You're not hiding it. The only people, and this is, this is the part that kills me. The only people he is, he is going to be, who are going to be like sold on this are going to be people who are already so desperately invested in Vosh as a persona and the community as a thing that gives them identity that they don't care what actually comes up on this. They just don't care. But Vosh, the people who just don't care are not normal. The people who just don't care are in a very dark, confused, and dangerous place. And these are not people with power or influence or the ability to save your reputation. Like, it's over. It's over. Definitely it intended to be lolly shit which has to be the worst possible way to find out about that sort of thing now obviously the accusation here isn't just that i had those images saved that part's true not really an accusation but also that i must have known uh that they were lollycon and saved them because they were lollycon now okay i'm gonna i'm gonna show you how we know that that's the case by the way okay i'm gonna show you how we know that he knew all right. The character on the screen is called Tatsumaki. Um, am I correct on that? This is from One Punch Man. I can't remember her name. All I remember, she's the green hair psychic chick. Um, Tatsumaki, yeah. Uh, Tatsumaki is a 28-year-old character. Tatsumaki has flat breasts. Okay? Very flat chest. This is what Vosh has to say about this. I like. Just saw your Vosh pit on your Midna Thirst. Bet you call Tastamuki a sussy bait, though. Where's the line drawn with petite women, you friggin' gonk chumba? Well, Tatsumaki is literally lolly. Wait, I'm sorry. We gotta smack some people down. Midna's literally a lolly weirdo. Midna is not a lolly, okay? There's a reason why 98% of people who draw Midna's is like a cat. Draw Midna, draw her as a thick ass post, 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 post puberty stacked, fat, dumpy imp. Okay? I don't- it's not lolly to have, like, impish proportions. Those aren't the same thing. Not even close, okay? Humanity has long- for millions of years have we dreamed of piercing the veil to the realm of hell and dragging out imps to have levacious relationships with, okay? Um, Tatsumaki, on the other hand, is literally like... What- guys, what if we drew a lolly but made her an adult so it's not a lolly? She's a lo she's a lolly. She's drawn like a child. Her head is the size of her entire torso. This is this is from the manga. This isn't like a fan drawing. Her head is literally the size of her entire torso. And she looks like a child. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how you see Lolly in that design. In Tatsumaki's design, it's literally acknowledged in the show that she looks like a child. The first time Saitama acknowledges her presence, he says, what's with this lost sassy child? Her voice sounds like a child's. She, it's it's lolly bait. That's what it is. She acts like a child too. Minna has literal toddler proportions. She's literally she does not have toddler. Okay. You see the problem here. <laughs> this character looks older than the characters in Vosh's folder. The obvious and predictable, but nonetheless true response from me is that no i didn't know that and that must not have been i disagree that those images are so obviously underage given the presence of secondary sex characteristics it's actually the absence and the presence of baby fat <laughs> just to be clear like th these were not ambiguously aged characters these were these were extremely like it's bad it's really bad and the uh, impression I got from those two drawings, because if I had gotten that impression, then I wouldn't have saved them. I 
I don't believe you. You know, I mean, drawings are abstractions and art styles and body proportions vary massively, even for characters that are unambiguously adults. That doesn't mean lolly shit isn't a thing or a problem. I've bitched about it being a problem like a lot on stream. It just means that carelessly or inattentively failing to notice it isn't exactly impossible. Yeah, I, I... It's, well, it's not impossible until you said that the specific proportions of the characters are what you were seeking. You said you thought they were short stacked like like how goblins are drawn. Um here's the here's the part you're missing. Uh those short stacks are drawn as adults unless they're not, in which case what you revealed is that you're looking at child coded goblin porn as well. Like <laughs> that's that's what that means. You can't go from saying, oh, this this very plausibly adult character who's canonically 28 years old. Um, that's that's obvious lolly because she has a flat chest and a big head. Like, that's anime, dude. But leaving that aside. Um, like, here, you want to see Saitama's proportions? Okay? These are Saitama's proportions, talking about heads the size of chests. All right? Look. Uh, open your tab. Boom. Okay. Sorry, I'm just making sure that this wiki doesn't have, like, bad stuff on it. So, look. This is Saitama, okay? Look at the size of his head compared to his chest. It's pretty big. Like, that's that's about it. I know what some people are going to say. You know, no, uh, you must have known. There's no way you didn't know. And like, like, what am I going to do? Make a, a, a fucking evidentiary argument here? You know, like, I'm not putting up the images so we can argue about the, the pixels or the proportions or whatever. I, I know fully well that like 99.9% .9 of people who have heard about this drama haven't seen the images, nor do I think those people should go looking for them, obviously. So... It's pretty much entirely a take me at my word or don't kind of situation where people are free to exactly. Saitama is a lolly. Lie about the drawings, or as I've already seen on Twitter, just post other really bad looking shit and say that's what I had in my folder. There's not much I can do about it, right? I Vosh, the stuff you had in your folder was bad. It's about as bad as it gets. Okay, it's it's about as bad as it gets for a person in your position. Like it's there's no. Like I'm sorry, like. If you're going to bullshit your audience and say that the issue is like... <laughs> you're going to say that the issue is you had, had demon porn and furry porn in there. Like, it's it's too late. It's too late. You've already tried to justify their content. Somebody asked early in the chat how... Uh, like, where did he acknowledge their contents? As soon as he started talking about the proportions of the characters is what confused him. That tells you that argument is based upon him looking at the image and judging it. The problem is we've seen him look at much less suspect images. Because these aren't suspect. These are like, they telegraph to you what they are. That's by design. We've seen him look at less suspect images, vastly so. Characters who are adults and say that's clearly lolly. So th this doesn't wash. It's all totally unfalsifiable, and people are going to make whatever assumptions and inferences they want to make. All I can really say is that... I didn't notice the problem while saving the drawings, uh, the same way a person could fail to notice any element of any drawing if they were careless or... The suspect element, the underage characters, are the central element in at least two of the drawings. As in, you'd have to look to find... Because he, he's made this claim. I wasn't interested in the, in, the, in, the, in the lolly guys. I was interested in the big dicks in the, in the shot. The problem is the big dick in some of those shots... That part's not apparent from a thumbnail. That part's not really all that clear. Like the one with the, uh, I'm very sorry for describing this, but the one with the very clearly underage person eating out the horse's anus in one, you're not seeing the horse stick there. I mean, maybe you're seeing the, the horse central, but you're not seeing it there. The other ones that just have, like, the dick in the shot, the much larger element are the characters. That's not, it doesn't, this doesn't wash. By the way, thank you for, for making it so that those images are imprinted in my memory. I really needed that, Vosh. Thank you. That's great for my mental well-being. Or inattentive or distracted. Uh, hell, uh, chat 
also pretty much immediately clocked to other drawings in the folder preview window as being AI art, something else I didn't notice. And Nobody gives a shit about the AI art thing, okay? Anyone, anyone who thinks that a relevant part about this is the fact that Vosh actually consumes AI pornography is an idiot, okay? That's not relevant. Uh, they gave me plenty of shit for that, too, because I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan of AI art. Uh, you know, I, I think I've done a good job of demonstrating a tendency towards carelessness, if nothing else. So leaving that uh, stupid least charitable argument aside, uh, someone might then ask, okay, I get it. It's I don't blame you, Tigas. You have a good night. We're going to do more. We're going to do more intelligent stuff later after this. We're just we're just finishing this section. Possible to make a mistake like that. Why then would you save the images? I, I, what about them did you like? And look, there's really no way of saying this without sounding crass or flippant or whatever, but, you know, it's, it's already a pretty revealing video. There's actually a very clear and simple explanation for why, uh, you know, for not just those two drawings, but in fact, all the drawings in that folder. Why, why do the majority of them not involve adult women with the horse, Slush? Why is that, like, the odd one out? You see the problem here? Like... I'm, I'm sorry. And all my porn tastes, generally. And it's an explanation that is extremely well-known and well-substantiated. Uh, I'm a size queen. I like big dicks. Yeah, I was looking through drawn porn, like furry or hentai. And naturally, like, when, when you look up big dicks, right? About 50 to 75% of that material involves minor coded characters. Like, minor minors. Then you are justifying them by the amount of heads you counted that they are tall. Like that's that's where we're that's that's your that's your defense. That's his defense. Uh yeah guys, pay no attention to the the children in this pornography I'm consuming. I'm interested in the the giant dick that occupies like a fraction of the page that is not the most prominent element in the thumbnail, for example. Sunday, you're just kink shaming at this point. Moving on. Hi, or whatever else. I saw a big welder on dicks. I thought, cool, and saved the drawings, then never looked at them again, as evidenced by the fact they are in a big dump folder literally called to be sorted. Okay, but you looked at them once, and you chose to save them. Right? Like, let's think this through for a second. Do we really think he saw one image by itself? By itself. And that was the only image he saw that day. And he saved that to his folder without looking too hard. So that, 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 uh, to be assorted folder that had like, I don't know how many images did it have, like 16? Uh, that, that image folder, uh, those are literally the only images he saw. He wasn't going through, like, mountains of this stuff and saving the stuff that specifically appealed to him. It was just, it was just, yeah, just, oh, how about that? Off I go to my run. Like, think about this for five seconds and this falls apart. Like, it, I'm sorry. No, no, you didn't, you didn't just go, oh, that's cool, save it, and you didn't look at it again or think about it. No, you saved it. Because you liked specifically what you saw. You wanted to make sure you had continued access to it after the fact. Like, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, this, this is implausible. That's... You know? That, that's the extent of the consideration that I gave those two drawings before my community and then the entire fucking internet hopefully corrected my mistake. Uh, it's hard to even say anything about it. You know, five seconds of, uh, ooh, nice dick, cool line art, saved. And it's a whole discourse. Um, nice dick, cool line art. Cool line art. Well, there's a bit of a problem with that, Vosh, as you stated earlier. Like, some of the underage stuff was AI-generated. Was that, did you click on that for the cool line art? If you're examining the line art, 
how were you oblivious to the contents of the image? That's a fine grained and that's a fine grained appreciation. You're looking at the uh, you're looking at the composition at that level. He's deliberately ignoring the drawing inside the subfolder. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What the um the subfolder had previews in it, right? They had they had like so there's a little image the last I guess the last one that was put into it, and one of them was like an obviously young girl with like. You know, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, you know, I wish I had an answer that was more sad. Vosh, did you enjoy the miners with the bucket? Yeah. That's fine, but really for something like this... Don't, don't mention the bucket in my stream, okay? I had enough trouble eating after this as is. I feel like people are going to believe what they believe, I, you know? I do think there is a real argument to be made about carelessness, especially with regard to Lolicon and its seeming omnipresence in the anime community. You don't have to know much about anime to know that's an issue uh, with it. I, I, I find it repellent, and I've been bitching about it for years. Plenty of that bitching has been on stream, too. Yeah, guys, Ted Haggart couldn't have possibly been found with a gay prostitute. He's been, he's been raging against gay people forever. Obviously, it's a lie. Obviously, people just want to take him down because he's just, he's just such a strong warrior for Jesus. But it's possible to find something repellent while also not being perfectly vigilant about it, uh, you know, especially in art where stylization and abstraction can kind of, uh, I guess, cloud awareness and judgment of the extent. What the bucket images children to based on fucking what? Based on this. A child. Like, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea how you see a lot. Like... What guys? What if we drew a lolly but made her an adult, so it's not a lolly? She's a lo she's a lolly. She's drawn like a child. Her head is the size of her entire torso. This is this is from the manga. This isn't like a fan drawing. Her she is drawn like a child. She looks significantly older than the characters in those pictures, my friend. I'm sorry. And to which any artists you follow or people in the community might be doing sussy shit, right? Pardon me for taking my most indefensible position yet uh, on this, you know, in this video. Uh, in the history of my channel, I actually do like some anime, you know, and there's a lot of really good shit out there in the anime community broadly, and in a lot of the sick anime babes getting railed uh, on Twitter, you know? I'm, I'm sorry, like, often that is also cool. And I hate the fact that, you know, the you know, pervasiveness of, of Lolicon means that the entire community is tainted, basically, right? I don't like the fact that, like, you could be looking through what looks like a bunch of totally, like, normal, fine, cool uh, babes getting railed by big dicks, whatever you're into, you know, while also feeling like you have to be vigilant that in this incredibly normalized process, some of these drawings might be of characters that are canonically underage or that like an artist who generally draws in a kind of... No, no, no. See, here's, here's the problem, right? Vosh's issue here is not that the characters were canonically underage. A couple of idiots went for the VTuber character is canonically under... Like, it's a VTuber character. Who the fuck cares? It's, it's, there, there isn't a narrative it's a part of. The VTubers are drawn exaggeratedly. They all look the same age. They're, they're, they have big heads and small bodies. Why? Because that's what that's what makes them take up the least space economically while, while making an impression on a YouTube video or on a Twitch video. That's what that's how VTube avatars work. Um, the issue is that these characters were coded as minors without context. Anybody seeing these would go, oh god, right? That's why. Um, if these were all like uh, 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 like adult looking characters that someone's going, look, oh wait, I went, went on the Wikipedia. I went on the, Balma's actually, at Balma's 15, technically. It's like, people would be like, okay, well, I didn't fucking know that. How would, how would he be expected to know that? Like, I, I, I didn't, I, I learned that a couple streams ago, actually. That was weird. Um, somebody pointed it out in chat. Uh, like, Like we we aren't we aren't talking about someone who who had like famous stills from Evangelion on his on his thumb on 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 his folder. We're talking about someone who had specifically generated content that had specifically minor coded characters. You can't use once again like 
There were only two excuses that would have washed. One is he had no awareness whatsoever of the contents. He never looked at all. These were from like a dump somewhere. He just he just right clicked stuff he couldn't even see. Plausible. Okay. Plausible. You need charity to believe him, but plausible. Well, actually, I guess that's really it. Because as soon as he's acknowledged that he's seen the contents, it's like, I'm sorry. Uh, who buys this? I guess if it was conceivable, if these were characters that had like a narrative and, and you knew canonically that they were above age, like it could be like, okay, this is like, you know, there are weird decisions in the composition, but he has it in his head that these are grown-ups. It's like, okay, okay, maybe. But the nature of these images is that they have no context. The only context we have is their appearance, and we have, and the context of, of Vosh is possessing them is that he has said that much less minor coded, much, much less uh, obviously minor coded characters are themselves obviously minor looking. They're, they're obviously evoking that. He recognizes these traits. So it's, yeah. They could be all 16 years old, P.S.? Let's run with that, okay? Let's run with that for a second, guys. Let's think about this. Okay. Guys, everyone calm down. They're all 16 years old. That's still underage. That doesn't work. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like, yeah, sure. By degrees, uh, an an eight year old character is significantly more disturbing than a sixteen year old old one is significantly more disturbing than an eighteen year old one, but that's not okay. You you can't you can't do that. Like I'm sorry. And here's the thing: like, do I think Vosh is a pedophile? No, I think I think these things are different enough that it's it's it would be it would be unfair to make that leap. But he still knows that's not okay. He still knows that's bad. Like, there's still something wrong there. Obviously wrong there. People get this. Like, cartoony style might be fine, but then another artist does that, but then they're, like, actually drawing, like, they're meant to be teenagers or whatever. I don't like it. And it's a normalization issue, and I think one of the best ways you could deal with it is by being aware. Uh, I'm not perfectly aware, so I fucked up. This... No, but, but, but you are, though. You're actually more aware than a lot of people, as evidenced again by the fact that you've railed against this for years. This is a thing that you've done. These, those were decisions. Those were poor decisions, given the fact that you were storing this material on your computer yeah there it is he's not owning up to it yeah of course he's not owning up to it because he can't he that that ship has sailed like at this point if he owns up to it it's because he's cowing to pressure not horsing to pressure cowing to pressure um like this is this is just a cope this whole thing is just a massive cope and uh what he's done with this this is so stupid because what he's guaranteed what he's guaranteed by this is that this will be picked up by H3 and they're going to do it again. And other people are going to do it again and again and again and again and again and again. And this is going to follow him for the rest of his life. He should have just bitten it. He should have just, uh, he should have just gone on H3 and just, just said like, just, just made his defense there. It would have at the very least given the impression that he has the courage of his conviction. He believes what he's saying. The fact that he ran from that, the fact that he hid from that interaction, the fact that he let other people like th throw themselves in, in front of him for his sake and, and get like seriously, seriously like damaged reputationally. Like you can't, you can't, you can't recover from this. He'll recover financially, but like as far as like a political project, like the Vosh channel's done. He's untouchable now. Like, he couldn't get into the White House as a guest. As, like, a... Basically, like, a student on a tour. Because of a, a brief... A, a light thematic association with Hassan Piker. Couldn't...
good God, he's, no one's going to touch him with a 10-foot pole now. Even Brianna Wu. Even Brianna Wu is like, ooh. Ooh, okay, guys, I saw the DMs. I've clearly not been paying attention. Ugh, I retract my previous defenses. Okay, when Brianna Wu has recognized bad optics, you're toast. It's... I don't think he's asked people to defend him online. It doesn't matter if he's asked people to defend him online. He knows, because he's not an idiot, in that way, that the, the result of him not defending himself means that other people, being fans of his, are going to make those defenses for him. This is whether or not he tells them not to defend him. Which is why the only responsible thing to do in the situation is to own up to what you did and to take the heat for it onto yourself. And then to back off if you want it to stop. I think Keffels is pulling back on support too. Yeah, she is. Keffels has, Keffels has folded. Um, she earlier deleted all of her tweets defending Vosh. Uh, initially after the contra, after the uh, contra points interaction and then and then she uh, and then she said the stuff we looked at earlier on stream. Um, she blames Vosh for this fully. And I agree. And he deserves more criticism for this. I'm I'm appalled at the people who are defending him at this point. Because here's the thing. Vosh isn't defending progressive politics anymore. Vosh is using progressive politics as a shield to defend himself. Because if he was actually putting the election and putting his community and putting trans people, etc., 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 putting all these things first... The first thing he would do is at the point where he becomes an optical burden, he takes that burden off of them. And he says, this doesn't represent my community, which is why I'm separating myself from it right now. I'm distancing myself from politics. I'm distancing myself from the Democrats. I am distancing myself from everything because I fucked up on multiple levels. And I'm not going to let my fuck up be someone else's burden because they don't deserve that. That's the one respectable thing he could have done. And he chose instead... To, to, to try and bullshit his way through this, to try and save face at the expense of all of the above. Wasn't the first time that I fucked up in this specific regard. Uh, you know, I hate that you're right, P.S. Yeah, many people say this after a, after a season. After the whole child labor argument saga, people went through a bunch of like likes in an old public Twitter or you know, porn account that I had and over like thousands of liked, uh, you know, furry, big dick monster girl images or whatever. I, I think they found one that was like the character was meant to be a teenager, you know, like, and it's not surprising to me that that might happen because, you know, I'm running between classes, scrolling on my phone. Uh, I look at an image maybe two or three seconds before I like the degree. I save it to my folder, right? Right, Vosh, that's what we're running with. Well, exactly. That's the problem. See, that would be the defense. That would be the defense if you didn't save it, if you only like stuff. But we've seen you saving it. We've seen you look at it, right-click, save it to a folder. You've had time to dwell on it. Okay, here we go. So, this is WAP Goblin. You all know WAP Goblin. That's the, the Keffel's A-Log. But, uh... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to be real with you. When I see this, I don't think adult. That's Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon is more ambiguous. Why? Highly stylized, especially if you're younger, it looks like a grown-up. Okay? But this, that's not an adult. That is not an adult. I'm sorry. Like... Like, the only thing you have here is like, oh, there's context. All of the characters are, are like, canonically older. They're just all drawn this way, so it's okay. Like, then you can have, like, a 30-year-old a woman who, who looks the same. And in and context kind of makes sense. Why? Because the appeal is the character in the social context. But this character is... Not...
degree of scrutiny required there indicates that this goes beyond some kind of like matter of personal temperance and extends broadly into like how weird is it that that's something that's been that normalized you know anyway i, I don't mean to like make a big point or, or or make it like a broader issue you know as a way of uh pulling attention away from me fucking up but the funny thing about that is you really do <laughs> You really do. That is exactly what you mean to do. That is a thick, short stack goblin horse. Exactly. Exactly. True. Yeah. So, long story short. Let's see. What are his. What are, what's his. Okay, so we have. Oh, dear God. It's like 30 minutes. Okay, we'll see what those final, th final thoughts are. I. I just think it's a broader issue, you know? Um, you know, people people are going to say what they're going to say. They can judge me for what they're going to judge me for. I think a lot of people have been real and charitable. Uh, you know, I, I think it's insane to say this, like, ah, yeah, it's a pedophile. You got him. I think, I think that's insane. But again, it's not really an evidentiary argument that I can make. So, you know, you know what am I supposed to do? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, God willing, anime culture will get better one day. Uh, I wouldn't hold my breath, though. So... Yeah, uh, that's the long and short of it. I'm sure there are other clips or screenshots or arguments out there uh, that people have thrown into their big anti-me documents. But like I said, I wanted to focus on the... I'm not anti-you, actually, historically. In fact, even, even just being fair, I mentioned this in my video. Um, and you can go back and you can watch my coverage of this when this was sort of unveiling and I was going over the H3 things. And you can even watch my coverage when I initially saw the leak because they were very blurry and I didn't register like what the contents were at first. Which is one of the reasons why my, my mind went, okay, hang on. What if that happened to Vosh? Is it conceivable that these images were blurry and he didn't, he didn't see them and he downloaded them for later to assess, right? It's possible. And, and I looked and I was like, okay, fuck, let's, okay, good. Doesn't look underage, <sighs> okay. Because there was nothing from like the, the blurry little miniature thumbnails that would tell you that because they were too small. So that's what I was kind of running with. And I was accused of carrying water for him for that. Um, and I was accused later of like floating the idea like, is it is it conceivable he doesn't know what's on there? I've got a video, uh, a segment that, that's even labeled that. It's like, does Vosh know what's, what was, did Vosh know what was in his folder? And it's also perfectly possible, like, it's metaphysically possible, that the first explanation he gave was bullshit. It was panic. Because sometimes what people will do is, this is one of the reasons why, for example, you, confessions extracted under torture are not reliable, is they will give the answer they think gets them out of trouble, even if it's a worse answer or a less true answer. Um, so, like, maybe Vosh, being an idiot, sincerely thought, you know, they're, they're just short stacks, like the way people draw goblin porn. Maybe he legitimately thought that was the way out, but it wasn't the truth. Maybe he legitimately didn't know how this stuff got there. Okay. He's got an opportunity to, uh, to say that. I'm, I'm not anti Vosh. I was, I was, I've been extremely fair without knee jerkedly defending him or condemning him. Now I'm condemning him because he's plainly lying. He's thrown everybody including yours truly, including Keffels and, and Tipster and everybody else associated with them. He's thrown them all under the bus. He's thrown progressives under the bus. He's thrown the Dems under the bus. He's thrown his community under the bus to, to not own up to anything. Like, it's pathetic. It's, it's, just, it's just pathetic. Like, it's, it's, it's gross. So it's, it's like... The accusations that I feel are at least somewhat grounded. If I took the time to tackle all the obviously fake or disingenuous shit, we'd be here forever. And I think it would take away from the stuff I actually did feel I needed to address. You know, again, walking that line. There is a lot of bullshit, but I, you know, I, I don't want to convey the impression that I feel every attack against me is illegitimate or at least not properly motivated. So yeah, this isn't about debunking a narrative, you know, it's about waving away the most transparently bullshit stuff so that I can focus on explaining the actual mistakes that I've made, the actual stupid shit that I've said, providing context and laying out my thought process so folks on the fence have all the information before deciding to lean charitably or not. 
Nobody's on the fence anymore, okay? You've got exactly one response, and that's to apologize and to shut down and think about your... Just think about what kind of person you are. Like, Jesus Christ, man. I think the most jarring thing is that he has a very mature demeanor. Like, he speaks like a very... like Because he is a very well-established adult, but he, he speaks like, you know, someone who has it together. But he's such a fucking child. Like... This is so weak. Yeah, I can't make someone be charitable. It's just up to how they see things. And, you know, I can't ever view all this drama from an outside perspective. I'll always be biased because I am literally the only person who really knows how I feel and why I've said the things I said. And uh, But to cap it all off. To cap, to cap it all off, I'm going to throw your words right back at you. You want to win. You are uncharitable and cruel to people on the right and conservatives, and you bring them on to mock as, as a freak show, justly in my opinion, because you care ultimately about the outcomes. You care about the right side winning and having power so that innocent people aren't hurt, right? Well, pursuant to that, the correct course of action for you under these circumstances, leaving aside the, the long train of decisions that you ought to have made before this, like, for example, uh, never, never like browsing that material on your main computer, much less, much less saving it, um, would be to self-immolate your career. It would be to end this. You're not in a fortress arc anymore. You're in a cave arc. Crawl back into the darkness, play your video game streams for the people who still want to look at you and stay the hell out of politics because you're a burden. You are a weight. People will now, I, even even with disavowing him, I, everybody will now be dealing with uh, having defended him in the past for, for a while now. Everybody will be called disingenuous. Everybody will be called sympathetic to this stuff as if they only caved under pressure from other people. Like, this is already, this is already costing people pretty dearly. Vosh is not the only one who's lost a ton of subs recently. Vosh is not the only one who's who's been... Uh, who's who's been like tremendously shamed as a result of all this? So like that's that's it. I, I'm I'm done with this. There's nothing nothing else to look at. It's just it's nothing nothing he says matters. Nothing he has to say here matters. The the, the 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 existence of this video after what's transpired is is a goddamn insult. It's it's just an insult.